What's the deal, boss? Talk boxing. Man, Navarrete, Oscar Valdez. First of all, shout out to Navarrete. Um, true warrior, true champion. Put his title on the line, you know. Um, but Oscar Valdez, this to me, this was one of his worst performances, in my opinion. Here's why. He didn't use no ring IQ. He was fighting like his old self before Eddie Reynoso. Oscar Valdez, before he got Eddie Reynoso in his corner, used to fight like that. Where he want to stand in the pocket with you. He want to trade. He don't want to do nothing. No, Eddie Reynoso teaches his fighters to move their head. You know, not too much movement. But move your head. Move your upper body. Move your hips. You know what I'm saying? Like, create that angle for you to land shots. You know? That's what he does. You know what I'm saying? Create that angle. And Valdez wasn't doing that. He was standing right in front of Navarrete getting caught. And it's like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Valdez could have easily beat Navarrete. It was things that I saw that I felt like, in my opinion, he could have done. You know what I mean? That's just real talk. I just think that he kind of fell into the whole old Mexican pride. Orale, way, we're gonna my cheese more. We gonna. I'm like, bro, you can't give in to that. You know, you just can't. You can't sit there and keep giving in to that. Oh, I'm a Mexican pride. I'm gonna fight for Mexico. Piaa, bro, get in that box. You know what I mean? Create those angles. You know, I've seen this dude ever since he got with uh, Eddie Reynoso. He could do those things. You know what I'm saying? But it was just like, I, I think, and I'm, I don't like making excuses. So I think he was just trying to like, Viva la Mexico. Like, oh, yeah, man, look, we're going to stand in front. We're going to put on for Mexico. We're going to stand in front of each other. We're just going to go toe to toe. Like, no, bro. Like, that's, I, I don't, I don't even see Eddie Ray so giving him that game plan. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, stand in front of him, fight. Yeah, yeah, Mexico. Like, Canelo don't even fight like that, bro. Canelo ain't finna stand in front of no dude. He ain't finna stand in front of nobody and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. You know what I mean? He's not doing that, bro. The, the dude gonna use head movement, create angles, use lateral movement. You know what I mean? If the dude getting off on him too much, throw a jab to make him reset or wrap up. Turn him, spin him, make him reset, give him a new sight picture. Like, that's what that's that's what that's what Canelo gonna do, and Oscar Valdez can do that. You know what I mean? But it's just like I don't know why he was fighting. How he was fighting, you know? It, it was weird to me. I'm like, bro, like, well, why are you fighting like that? Where, where's your head movement? You know what I mean? No head movement. You just got a high guard trying to. <laughs> I said, man, this. <laughs> you know, I was like, man. It, it wasn't, I mean, was it entertaining? To me, probably. I mean, I say no. It wasn't entertaining to me. Not gonna lie to you. It wasn't. Um, it, it just wasn't entertaining. I, I looked at it like, I watched it, but it was just like, they just standing in front of each other, slugging it out. You know what I mean? Now, granted, I'm not saying Navarrete is not a good fighter. He is. But Valdez made it easier for for uh, Navarrete. You know what I mean? He made it extremely easy. I was like, what the? Like, y'all niggas just standing in front of each other, just welling out on each other. You know? And then after the fight, Valdez, eye closed like this. He can't see. He's Stevie Wonder. I'm like, bro, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, I understand you want to fight, give the fans, and, and I'm speaking to all fighters. I understand you want to fight for the fans and get them a show. But sometimes you got to just win. And that's one thing Floyd Mayweather, you know, he like, man, I'll give the fans what they want, get in the fight, but I'm going to fight my fight. I'm going to fight to win. That's it. You know? I'm fighting to win. I'm looking to win. I'm not looking to 
you know, go toe to toe because all oh, the fans want me to go toe to toe. Yeah, you see how the fans are. You know what I mean? The fans, they love you when you're on top. When you lose, they kick you to the curb. That's just that's just reality of life. You know what I mean? And and, and athletics, period. Everybody love you when you everything going good and you're on top. The minute you make a mistake or you lose or you fall, that's when they, uh, you washed up. That's when they want to throw you away. You feel me? So it's just like, man, at the end of the day, why sit here and fight that type of fight? Why sit there and do that? You know what I mean? Like, bro, just fight your fight. Fight to win. And I'm not saying that Oscar Valdez didn't fight to win. I just think the game plan that they used wasn't wise. This dude liked fighting like that. Never read that. Right? Never read that. His last fight when he fought that white boy. Right? And the white dude, unproven, but was was trained by... Uh, hey, I can't think of names. I know his face. I forgot his name, man. I'm sorry. Hall of Fame trainer, though. He helped Sean Porter for the L. Spence fight. Uh, he, he helped Javante Tank Davis for the Eastside Pitbull Cruz fight. Uh, he helped Legend Broner for fights. He used to be Lamar Peterson's trainer. Um, runs Headbangers Gym. I forgot his name. I got his face. I just forgot his name. But, um... It's just like to get back on topic because I kind of forgot what I was talking about. Uh, Valdez just got to do better, man. That was that was not a good performance by him. You know what I mean? And he know that. He said that after the fight. He said, "Man, I didn't, I didn't perform well." You know, and at least he was honest. You know, he he, he was honest. He could have. I'm not saying dominated him because that's disrespectful, but he could have did enough to win the fight. You know what I mean? If he would have boxed, looked to box more. You know what I mean? You fight to win, man. You don't, you come up with a great game plan, fight to win, and then, you know, go on about your day. You know, all this stuff about, oh, man, machismo, all that, like, wait, we fight for these fans. These fans don't care about you, bro. These fans gonna throw you in the trash as soon as you lose, man. That's real talk. So, you know, it just is what it is. We seeing that now with Errol. We seeing a lot of people who so called Earl Spence fans, he loses Terrence Crawford. Now all of a sudden, oh, they throw him in the trash. So it is what it is, man. Well, you know, but Oscar Valdez needs to do better. Now, what does uh, he go from here? Get back in the gym. You know what I mean? Get back in the gym, train. Um, you know, I can see Oscar Valdez, you know, coming back up, you know, for into, into a title fight. You know, I think that uh, he's a good fighter. I just think that he had a bad night at the office. You know what I'm saying? You want to have these bad nights in the gym. So when you get in the ring, when it's time to fight, it, it ain't no bad nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if it's confidence or shit, because, you know, Shakur just molly whopped him. You know what I'm saying? But I think that he just needs, uh, I don't know, man. He just need better. He, he just got to do better, man. That's what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. What you think about it? Oscar Valdez versus Emmanuel Navarrete. Let's go.